two days later, the brown felt wide-brimmed hat arrived, along with a couple of extra hats. In the washroom tub, I placed the felt hat, covered it with hot water, and let it soak. After soaking, I wrung out the excess water and began to shape the crown of the hat. While this was going on, the ward came to life. Everyone seemed to want a hat remodeled. The nurses and the wives of the casualties. In a couple of days, half a dozen guys were soaking, stretching, and shaping hats. Some sensational shapes took place. Of course, there was the usual macho attitude of some. What the fuck you guys doing? Bunch of sissies. This sergeant barked obscenities for three days. He had been bedridden for two months. It was the hats that made him actually sit up and begin to interact with everyone. Within a week, he too was up, shaping hats for his wife. Then, one day, the soldier who had the bed to the right of me, the one who always stared at the ceiling, propped himself up on his elbows. What the fuck's all the excitement? Soon, he too was sitting up in bed participating in the hat making, cutting ribbons for his roommates. This activity was not overlooked by the superiors. Oh, that's for that armhole. So you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. In fact, nobody should ever go wrong after they pass the age of 16. You can go wrong up to the age of 16, <laughs> but after 16, I'm sorry. It's like all those marvelous things you know you read about. Do you know what like Lincoln said once? <laughs> I didn't know what he meant until I looked in the mirror once. I said, you know, a man is responsible for what his face looks like after he's 35 years old. And I was 18 when I read that, and I could hardly wait to be 35 so I could look in the mirror and see what he was talking about. <laughs> no, I found out what he was talking about. I was in the hospital for two weeks. Hat making, or rather re-hat making, was now in full swing. I was called into the office. We've checked the x-rays of your ankle. We've decided to give you a medical discharge. The joint in your knee may need surgery. We feel that you are 10% disabled for military duty. Your papers will be submitted this day. In a few days, you'll be discharged honorably. Thank you. We have a question to ask you. Yes, sir. Would you consider staying here a while? We need someone for therapy. You've been a great inspiration to the patients here. Think about it and let me know. A day later, I announced that I could set up a program and that I would stay a week to get it started. You sandwich the collar between the facing and the garment. <laughs> sandwich. Poor man in the restaurant. What happened to him? I'm telling you, in this day and age, you never know. You have to be so careful. So you watch that. The sandwich reminded me of that, you know. Poor man went into the restaurant and he put his hat and coat on the hat rack. And he says, please watch your hat and coat. And pretty soon he yelled for the manager. He says, please come over here. I have a complaint. He says, yes, may I help you? He said, yes, I was watching my hat and coat and somebody walked off with my dinner. <laughs> telling you. When the train pulled into the station in downtown Cheyenne, Pat and Joyce were waiting for me. Where's Blonde Jay, I asked. He's waiting at the apartment. We walked the few blocks from the depot to the apartment. The three of us entered to find Blonde Jay waiting. Our mutual smiles were clouded by our tears. For a time, Blonde Jay and I just gazed at each other. Then we embraced, the laughter and tears still in our eyes. The world is full of ecstasy. The next day, we awoke refreshed, in love, and hungry. The stride is that area from here to there going that away. <laughs> you know? So you have to be careful about that because if you don't have enough stride, it's going to pull your pants that way or pull your pants this way so you need enough room that way. Now that, of course, comes in the pattern this way. And you take that measurement the same way. You don't have to stride yourself through your stride to get a stride measurement. Just stride yourself through your stride by coming from center front to center back, and by God, you got your stride. I made plans for us to go to California, but Blonde Jay was skeptical. What about his job? Five years in Cheyenne, one doesn't just pick up and leave. Everything will be fine, I assured him. Let's take a week to relax and plan. We packed. 
The shippers came and we boarded a train for San Francisco. We arrived in Los Angeles, home, 1944. In October 1992, we celebrated our 50th anniversary. Ladies, bias is very, very important. When you cut your fabric on the bias, the fabric clings to the body. It makes it what we call sexy. George W. Trippon, director of the Trippon Fashion Center and Fashion Authority, guides each student for a successful career in the fashion world. His long experience in the garment manufacturing field and in his own custom salon qualifies him as a leader in fashion education. People asked me to teach them a few things and little by little, one student led to another and before I knew it, I had a school. So what's new is fun and entertainment. We would like you to meet the galloping gourmet of the needle, Mr. George Trippon. The phrase used to be, tennis anyone? Now of course, it is tennis everyone. And with the money you can save making our beautiful tennis outfits, you can hire that handsome pro for private lessons. So, stick around. We're going to have a lot of fun. So, what's new? Starring Vogue Sewing Authority... One of my students, George a producer's Trimon. wife, graduated and later came back with her husband. I agreed to let them monitor the class I was teaching that afternoon. When it was over, the producer told me he could make me a star. Well, I knew better than to believe that, but I decided to give the show a go anyway. Where are you? <laughs> oh, there you are. Good heavens. Well, you just have to make a bigger bow, see? Make a big, long bow. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I'll just pin these two edges together at this point. Now, this is a halter type thing. You all know what a halter is. You know, it goes here and it halts you here. So it's a halter. But at this point, especially at the plunge point, I make sure I anchor it because there's nothing worse than putting a dress on like this and you say, <gasps> oh my God, it comes this way down there anymore. You gotta be careful about that. It's terrible. I'm gonna repeat that you pin with only the tip of the pin. The head of the pin is out. The dress is towards you or the garment's towards you and the seams are away from you. Of course, you have to put yourself in my place. What a lovely spot to be in. I was born a happy soul and I love what I do. That's a marvelous Talk feeling. Promotional consideration furnished by Vogue Patterns and Unique Zippers. The phrase used to be, tennis anyone? Now it's tennis everyone. And with the money you save making this Vogue tennis dress pattern 8549, you can hire that handsome tennis pro to give you private lessons. It's so easy to make, and it looks so great on the court. I guarantee you'll score the first point. Get Vogue pattern 8549 wherever Vogue patterns are sold. I've told you about it. Now it's yours, sir.